Hey yo! Welcome back to the Battlefield, everyone. I'm your host, Monk, and we're playing Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator. Well, this is a whole new series, by the way. If you guys didn't know by the thumbnail, we are doing a Padawan story. Symbio from T3 Gaming Edition. How are you, Symbio? Doing great, man. Happy to be here. Hey, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, like, you have no idea, like, what kind of idol-ish you are for me, man. <laughs> Oh, man, you're going to make me blush. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, at least you're lucky enough to not have the face cam, so you don't have to worry about the blushing thing. That's why I never use a face cam. <laughs> we always get to see, like, your uh, your lovely hand hand model thing going on. That's right. It's all about the hand. Awesome. Hey, uh, can you tell a little bit or tell everyone a little bit about you? Uh, sure. Um, I guess... Uh, well, I go by the alias Symbio. Uh, you know, I've been pretty much me and my my son Kai have been doing playing Destiny since the very beginning, and we run a YouTube channel called T3 Gaming. It actually spawned from a bunch of Chico, California gamers. Uh, we used to we played Hero Clicks and other tabletop games, and they had a podcast. So they didn't really do YouTube. So I asked them if I could, you know, take over the YouTube channel and just start doing YouTube content. So that's kind of why I'm T3 gaming. But uh, yeah, we got into Destiny since the beginning and loved it and just start, you know, started shooting games, local games for, uh, I used to go to Outflank and Fairfield, record some games. We just have a nice little play group and, and we love playing and thought it'd be fun to just share, you know, games. And, uh, card reviews and unbox with community that's awesome man like like uh what is it yourself uh t you know t3 gaming uh as a host btt uh bttv double oh, yeah. blaze gaming uh sir christopher all and stuff were like the whole huge reason why i started everything so just again thank you so much for for everything that you guys do at t3 gaming if you guys uh, are watching this and you guys want to know what T3 Gaming is, the link is right down below for you guys to go check it out. Uh, great content for Star Wars Destiny, for Hero Clicks, just like you were saying. I suggest you guys do it. If you guys don't like or subscribe them, you're under a rock already. But get out of that, get out from under that rock and go like and subscribe. Like now. Okay. Um, other than that, so we're here to play a very non-serious game we're going to be questioning each other left and right while we try to play this game so don't mind our mess ups though I, I like i already know there's gonna probably be comments underneath this that straight up says oh my god why did you resolve that three when you could have done this this and this it's gonna be so just off the cuff and we'll kind of go from there right so i hope you guys enjoy you ready yeah man I'm ready Okay. Um, did you mulligan, Ernie? I did. I have an okay hand, I, I think. Okay. Um, I did, did tweak my deck quite a bit from um, when we played a Kubla, just because it just didn't, you know, do what it needed to do. But we'll see how it does. Fair uh, I thought I knew your deck already, so that's not good for me. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll probably... Did you mulligan, Arnie? No, I'm looking right now. To be honest. You know what? I'll keep it. Cool. I'm, it. I'm afraid, though, but we'll see how it goes. So I get a shield from somewhere. Uh, I'll put on the yield. Do. And we'll roll off. Good luck, my friend. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. We'll see how this goes. I... I'm not like a huge TTS player, so I'll try my best not to make lots of mistakes, but. <laughs> uh, two, four, five. Three. A measly three. So your pick. I really hope you roll like that the rest of the time with Zeb. Yeah. All right, so you got Outer Rim, and I have Outer, outer Rim. So I will happily take the shields, my friend. Yep, makes sense. So, so how does this all oh, shielded? How this, um, you're going to have to show me how the works because i will show you how to what make the cannon work at least one oh let's do it we'll do that one we're going to do that when we roll right yeah okay uh let's see what do we want to do we're going to just 
gonna roll out all yodes. All right, so you can roll uh, like drag it and just drag it all over the top of the cannon. Yep. Oh yeah, like right here of, of the nose of the cannon. Yeah, perfect. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Me, me uh, there's also a button like right here. It's like you grab the selected dice and you it goes into it. Okay. <laughs> I got it. So like right over the nose, you see? Oh, okay. There you go. All right, and then there's a nice little red button. All right, ready? Let's go. Oh yeah, that is you know that just made my week. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. All right, cool. So Epic. we got you shield and a. All right, so. Card here. All right, so first probing question. Uh, what do you got? Uh, can you share with us how you really got into Destiny? Yeah, sure. Uh, like I said, we, we play hero clicks and, uh, my son and I play Pokemon. Uh -huh. And so, you know, I was actually in Hong Kong on a trip when I first saw the team covenant video about destiny mm -hmm. and I got so stoked because my, my children, uh, we, we love star Wars, but we never really played any of the other games like X, it just X wing seemed a little too intense long. So we didn't never played it, but we played. Pokemon. So we were done with Pokemon, saw Destiny, and was like, oh my god, this game looks freaking amazing. And it, it wasn't out yet. So as soon as I got back to the States, I just scoured everything looking for Destiny. Could not find, couldn't find it, right? Yeah, um, because at that time it was so scarce, right? It was really scarce. It was like December 2nd, so it, it hadn't officially been released until the 1st. And everybody in our town uh, didn't know about it and didn't order it. So, or like didn't think it was going to take off, so didn't order any. Um, so I had to like kind of get our shops to order some. And it took a long time and they got like one box or something of the starter sets. So. You're a lucky man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, that was the dark times of uh, Destiny because it was exciting but it was also so sad because nobody could get this product yeah and like uh even though with this rough start are you, can you believe that uh, uh, destiny's at where it's at right now and it's like still growing you know honestly i can like i feel like it's such a great game and it's as much as people give ffg a hard time for everything that they've like quote unquote messed up like it's such a good game and there are a lot of things they are doing right. Because, I, I mean, I've come from a background of playing Hero Clicks, and, and honestly, like, their, their organization is way worse than FFG. Hero Clicks has been around for 15 years. So, I gotcha. You know, we complain about a lot of things, but they actually do a lot of things right, you know, too. So, sometimes you got to give them credit for what they do well. Oh, yeah. The fact that we're able to battle it out in general, literally, like, we're on a battlefield itself is. Pretty damn amazing. Exactly. Yeah. So. Your turn, my friend. All right. I'm not doing a very good job molting test. <laughs> not playing. Sorry. You're okay. good. See, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna suck at this. Like I'm a computer programmer, and so when I'm like working on one thing, I can't like do like ten things at once. But you just adapted. You. you just we just ten minutes to adapt, right? Yeah, I adapted. Oh, you're gonna, gonna get rid of one, another one of my shields. Uh, We'll go ahead and get rid of one of those. You will just you can put it in the in the bag if you want. Yeah. And they're gone. And oh, you're gonna do it? Oh, okay. Oh, yes, roll like that with Zeb all day, please. That's pretty much how it works. I'm going to go ahead and pay three. Yep. To put out Force Wave on Yoda. Beautiful. Got no monies. So, so another way you can do it, you can select whatever you're choosing. And then there's like a button on the side of it, like toward you, I think. And it says load selected dice into the cannon. Oh, okay.
Oh wait, where is this? Where is the menu to that? What happened? Where is the menu to like you right click? Oh, you just just uh, push le like left click and drag all the way across. Almost. We can do it. We can do it. You no, know, this is just like sad, right? Now. <laughs> You know what? We're just gonna roll them. Whatever you like. See, I like it's your odds after it spills out of the cannon. Look at this. Three, one. Yeah, that would have been way better. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see. Roll hot. So you got. Oh yeah, keep keep this coming. <laughs> Terrible. Did you did you like set some kind of anti-rolling algorithm? On? Oh, that's exactly what I did. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the cannon though. If it, hopefully I can do it. Hey, there they go. Oh, I didn't really get anything good though. That's cool. Two focus is nothing. Dead. No, no, yeah, nothing to scoff at. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So, so what do you like most about Destiny? This, hanging out with friends and like playing Star Wars, shooting each other, and you know, it's like I would say that fifty percent of it is sitting face to face with people, like in our community and playing games. Yeah, I'm gonna do three damage to Poe. No. All right. Um. And the other 50% of it is just like playing Star Wars, you know, it's like so amazing um, be able to like combine different characters and have all these weapons and abilities and and uh, compete. Like I like the competitive side of it as much as I like the just the thematic casual side of it. I gotcha. And as a web developer, like I'm always on the computer. So like that's kind of why I don't play as much TPS because the last thing I want to do is like just be on the computer for another four hours <laughs> oh no trust me i'm with you but for some weird reason like um star wars destiny gets like gets me like uh i don't know like i don't even know how to really explain it like i just have so much fun doing it like my hours go by so fast um, oh yeah and it's it's more relaxing than like playing or playing tts is way more relaxing than playing like a you know a first person shooter or something oh that's true that's true all right, so what you do? Just activate Poe here? Yep, activated Poe. Get some specials there. Uh-huh. All right, we are going. Come on, you have to give retribution to this uh, Zebiota deck. Yeah. This is his baby, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, no. that's not good. That's not good for me. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Get a shield. Mm -hmm. Turn to die. Let's go ahead and change this to the special. Do this. Get a resource. Turn to a special. Do this. Get a resource. Turn to a special. Do this. Uh, three, two, one. For a, re for a resource, and that's it. Nice. All that. That's like so such good special chaining with Poe, right? Because it helps you get everything you need from Yoda. No, yeah. No matter what, if I roll a special on either one of those, it just sets it off. So we'll do the same. Go to the Yoda here. Uh, we'll gain a resource. Heal. Get a shield. I will happily say melee on that die. Yep. Hidden motor, baby. Little Maul himself. Yes. Zeb's dice are so so bad against hidden motive. Not like <laughs> All right. Um. We're gonna. Close. All right. All right. Let's talk a little bit of Kubacon. Let's get first get a resource. I'll pay one. 
to get out uh, honor guard, and that's my turn. All right. Oh, I already see an issue with with doing this. You can't see the you can't see the resources through this stuff. That's not good. Oh, uh, because the numbers here. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about Kubicon. Uh, we finally were able to meet. Yeah, it was so cool. I you know just. You know, I, I watched your stream quite a few times. Like out of all the different streams, you know, I I, I just enjoyed the creativity that you brought to the the, the format. Like di at different times, obviously, I love double blanks, and uh, they're probably like my favorite. Yeah, one of my favorite streaming, you know, that I do watch. But um, but like I liked how you would just bring all kinds of crazy decks and just play it. And then when you started playing Palp, I was really excited to see what you were doing with it. And and when you went to Kubla, it was really cool to see it do so well. Yeah. No, it, it truly means a lot. Thank you so much for the kind words. But, like, yeah, like, your guys' is live. Ooh, quick draw. Ooh, fur pine. But, like, your guys' is, uh, in real life gameplay is in incredible. And, you, of course, like, your game designing this, right? Or uh, your video designing? What, what, graphic designing, right? Yeah, like the video editing okay but yeah like it's freaking fantastic man your your production value on your videos are incredible well thank you yeah i mean a, a lot of it has to do with the camera and the quality of getting a get camera and, and i think for, for essentially in real life videos you want to make sure that the that they're really in focus so that you can see what the players are doing yeah all right honor guard in the three i am no, I'm with, but I'm completely with you. Like, your your gear makes everything <laughs> makes everything work. I get uh I get the same thing about the smoothness of of TTS on my videos. Well, hmm, this is a tough one. Uh oh, we're gonna do oh. no po no. Hey, that was only five. All right, um, let's go ahead and pay three. Oh, I forgot to pay two. See? Dang, Judge! Oh man, OB Saber on Yoda is my favorite <laughs> ever in the world. You know? And now. Uh... That's a good. Yeah, you're in a really good position. Like, that's probably out of the games I did one in trilogy format, it was because of that. Because just getting the two shields, doing three unblockable, and then like get the force uh, wave out is so good. It's killer. So, uh, Yoda. Go Yoda. Back. I know, Yoda. Come on, Yoda. Didn't you roll this like same exact thing last time? Yeah, pretty much twice. Where? My Yoda is really a poser compared to your Yoda. Oh, jeez. I know, right? He's like, I'm the real Yoda. <laughs> Uh, let's roll out Yoda, yeah? Yeah. Why not? There's some specials there, maybe? Oh, none. I got the same thing you did. Plus three, though. Yeah, the plus three is, is pretty good. Although, you but, don't have any other... So what did you play at Kubicon? Uh, let's say, let's say day one and three, standard days. Yeah, so I was there on Friday, but I didn't play the tournament. So I, me and Kai and I played on trilogy format on... Saturday and then standard format on Sunday. So, um, well, yeah, like I was completely excited to, to meet you guys. And my son, my son was equally excited. He was like, Oh, are they going to be here? I'm like, Yeah, they're going to be here for sure. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so, uh, he was excited to uh, meet Kai and all that stuff too. Nice. Yeah, so, um, I played Zeb Yoda because. In, oh, for a trilogy, that was definitely something I was going to play. Um, I was originally going to play Sabine Ezra that I've been playing for a while in uh, Standard. Okay. But I, at the end, like I played it in a couple pods and didn't do too well. And Sabine's just one of those things where, like, you, you, if you're a good player and you've been play, playing it for a long time, I think you have a, like, obviously, like Bobby Sapphire, he's really good at it. You know, you good, but. You have to make a lot of tough choices, and I just wasn't making the right choices, I think, with that deck. So I just opted for something more fun that I was like, you know what? I think I'll have more fun playing Zabiota, even if it's like, so. All right. 
Yeah, you were really making a dent with freaking Zabiota, though, especially during pods. Yeah, like I on one pod, I won all four games, uh, so that was really cool. But I don't know, you know, it's just something about Zabiota that just sort of does, just not consistent enough to like win big, you know, tournaments. So. I got you. Just when you know Yoda rolls these, <laughs> these times to die. Pretty much. All right, let's. Yeah. Not a lot. I like that. We're gonna I keep forgetting Verpine has a freaking focus side. Well, that's not good for me. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and dis not discard that. That's a horrible idea. Or can't abide. You roll everything. Alright. There we go. All you need is one, right? Yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> All right, we're going tangle. There's entangling. What are we entangling? Special and and the two. Can't believe you entangled me. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Uh, I will get rid of the other oh. cantle by pistol. <laughs> And uh, that's fun. Ah, that's still four damage. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Two. We got the special resource. How many cards you got left there? Two? I have two. All right. Uh... So what do you think the, strength, the strengths are of uh, Zebiota? Well, it depends on the format. Like, I would say... Hard decisions, hard decisions. Okay. All right, yeah. Um, I would say, obviously, you know, we know Zeb is... He costs a lot of money to kind of get the best out of him. Uh-huh. Uh, I think I... Originally, I started playing with, with Melee mostly, but now I'm realizing that you really want to benefit from his ability, and his ability is actually insanely good. Like, just being able to resolve his sides with whatever, you know, ranged or, or Melee um, just allows you a lot of flexibility with weapons. Um, and I think it also kind of confuses the opponent a little bit if they're not just, like, on it, you know? They might just quickly see that, oh, that's not resolvable. Yeah. Unless... Unless they're always on, you know, they're a really good player. All right, so you got a special there. Yep, no money. You got no. Take a read. This card heirloom now. Give me that special. Ah. Uh... Your last card. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and claim. Okay. All right, you have too, way too much money. You have one hiding over here. No. Really? Yeah, there was one like right here. See, I already see the downfall here. Okay, so what well, messed up? Yeah, you're right. Actually, I should only have one. Oh, actually, I should have two because I pay. I should have paid for the entangle. I probably didn't pay for that. So. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you. I don't know. Okay. Check, oh, let me know in the comments uh, below if what right. if what he did. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. All right, See? let's go ahead and do two to Yoda. Um, let's go ahead and discard one of your cards. Oh, I think I think I have to do it. Go for it. Yeah, just I shuffle your hand. Yes. Damn. See, I was waiting for the double special and you were. Yeah. And that's my turn. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I like it because uh, I, I, in general, like, I, I do like the big character, little character pairing, and Yoda is, like, the best support character in the world, right? Like, if you're going to play somebody that doesn't do damage, you know, he's, like, the freaking best. Right. So, um, you don't want to mulligan this puppy. Then there's the question then. What do you think is the downfall of that deck? 
uh, the same thing, you know, big little. So if you don't get the right cards, if you don't get Yoda built up where he can have weapons and they're, you know, going after Zeb fairly quickly, you lose the game, right? Uh. Not like Ray Ayla or a triple character deck list with vehicles or something where you have a lot of flexibility. Like, you know, if they go for one, you can load up the other. Uh, you don't have vehicles doing damage. So if you really lose your damage or your dice get mitigated, uh -huh. which happens a lot with Zeb, like you'll roll out and, uh, you know, your dice get mitigated. And now you can't do damage that round because Yoda doesn't have any. So I gotcha. You know, um, we're going to go ahead and heightened awareness. Oh, you need to stop it with these shields. Oh, you love it. You love those shields. Yeah, let me get this frightened out here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss Palpatine now? Yeah, I miss Palpatine. Playing heroes. Um, we're going to roll out Zeb now. See, like, obviously the the quick draw ambush weapon play on, on Zeb is pretty decent. Like, I actually played against the Sabine one round, and I got the hidden blaster out, and I kept quick draw hitting the hidden blaster, and, uh, uh -huh. and I disrupted him two turns in a row so he couldn't roll out Sabine and put an ambush weapon on her. And that was huge. Still lost the game because I couldn't do enough damage. So that's the other kind of drawback. Sometimes Zeb can't do enough damage. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, like, like, like look at this roll. Oh, no, it's glorious rolls. What are you talking about? This is amazing. I mean, this is 10 potential damage, and I got two. <laughs> So what do you got over there? You got pretty good roll there. You got some uh, force. Oh yeah, I got the action force there. whatever is right now. Let's see, let's. See. But really, with the shields, I'm too worried about. There's the question. Did I? Uh, go ahead and roll Yoda. Why isn't the master? And there we go again. Natural special for me. <laughs> oh man, decisions here, decisions. All right, let's go ahead and take. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Three, three off of him. Two off of Yoda. One over here to Yoda. To the real Yoda. The real Yoda. All right, and then you got two melee there. And you're like, here's another heightened awareness. And so what's what was your record on uh, trilogy day? I went two and two. Awesome, man. Beat a uh, Talzin Stormtrooper trooper, and actually that guy went like top four, I think. Garrett. Oh wow! Uh, for, you know, I got Force Wave out. You know, you get Force Wave out first turn, and you're good to go on three character decks. Um, second, I played against a Kylo Anakin, and he hit every turn ability, even though I have like half. You know. Oh my half, gosh. Half gray. <laughs> so, all right. To focus. Pretty good. No, that's still pretty good, especially on like the new meta of trilogy, right? So all of us like are going into it like this is just gonna be a fun day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean it's You did better than me, my friend. You did better than me. We're going to Actually wait, that was a blank, right? That was a blank guess. Yeah. Mm. Let's turn that to a three. Two, two. Really? Yep. All right. I'm going to pay one to mislead mm -hmm. that two away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> wait. Yeah, see, I'm, uh, I didn't, yeah, messed up. I was going to turn this to a focus. I don't know. Oh, no. Right. It's, it's, it's these questions, <laughs> like, totally distracting me with this question. The probing questions disrupt the game. All right, 
we're gonna pay one. Oh no, stop concentrating on my watch right now, okay? Yeah, well. To actually do what I wanted to do, which is... Alright, so I got my two focus over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the special. And then change this to a special. Alright. Double specials. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. Pick those. Pick them. Go ahead and do two damage over there to Zeb. Ouch. We will impulsive the two focus. Mm hmm. This is going to be hurtful. Oh no, four. No, it's going to be a. What is that? A plus two? Yeah, so four, six. Six damage. Take off. Friend Poe there. Poe's dead. Sad day. Well, I'm gonna go know. ahead and claim my friend. <laughs> Not too worried. You got a Yoda full up with stuff. Oh, uh, we'll see. I ain't got no uh, second or anything. Um, did you? Uh, you have a shield here. Did you take the full two? Uh, no, I don't think I did. I think I took the two. Thank you. Did you? Did you actually? Oh, wait, did you actually take the two? Or no, one? I don't. No. Think I I don't think I took the two. Oh, okay. I think I totally spaced because we were talking. I really am <laughs> bad at the whole talking <laughs> thing. You could ask my son, Kai. He's always like trying to talk to me when I'm gaming. It's like, Dad, Dad. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I got you. <laughs> my, my phone is cooling off right now. All right, let's see here. Um, I have to agree with you on the whole your turns thing. I don't. Like, it definitely does get in the way of where the resources are. Yeah, so it's something on the drawing board for this. I or I can probably make, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's too bulky, maybe. Yeah, it's too bulky. All right, um, I'll just get one card. All right, let's see. Let's go. Oh, I need, I need resources. Um, go, yeah. Yeah, it's rolling. Oh, baby. All right, what do we got here? Crash here. I don't know, but you don't have easy pickings anymore. Nope. Ooh, that looks good. I okay. do like it. So that's a lot of damage. I don't think I have a choice, really, here. Entangling? What are you, which ones are you entangling away? I have. Well, this, uh, the Yoda special. Okay. And. Hmm. Two. I have one shield. We go with that one. All right. I mean, that's leaving both your damage dice on the table, but. Yeah, which doesn't really mean much at this current moment in time, though, so you good. Well, All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do one unblockable over there. Okay. I'm going to roll out Mr. Aurelius. Oh, man. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, you re yeah, re reroll that one. It's cocked. Indeed. There's that one. You have no money, right? No monies. I don't see any monies. A broke. You you could have that truce, though. I ain't no truce in Legacies, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, you mean uh, oh, Trilogy? A uh, Trilogy, <laughs> yeah. Everyone does that, really. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, let's go ahead and sound that alarm anyway. All right. Really? Maybe it'll hit me into that no-costed two melee. Bam. Oh. That's better for me. All right. Here comes the Yodas. Got to roll Yoda. Yeah, we roll. Oh, you see that? That's not what physics does. Now I feel very. Sp That's not what physics does. What are you doing here? 
misleading that special away. Is that like your third mislead? With <laughs> <laughs> I'm stacking my deck. Yeah. Okay. There goes that mislead is so good against Yoda. Right. I mean, Unless he does double like specials, and you're like, oh no. So the way of force has been announced. We'll do two unblockable. Yes, it are, has. Are you excited? Freaking excited! Yes. Are you excited for the pod racing or the Gungan so far? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see. No, uh, honestly, like if I had to pick between the two, like I'm, I'm not one of the people that are like totally hate on that whole thing, but um. It's not like it's my favorite mechanic. I, I think it's actually really cool. Like, it, the thing about it is, the, even those in the movies, those are not my favorite things. The fact that they're brought in Destiny makes me want to play them. Like, it's fun. It sounds I fun. gotcha. You know, like, having different uh, ways to play this game is fun to me. So, like, uh, you know, I have a friend who rolls blanks a lot, and he's going to play Gungans, you know? <laughs> of course, for him, he'll probably roll all damage side. Uh, yeah. It's my turn, right? It is. Ooh. Pitch that. And you know. Whoa. Whoa. I don't even know what you're doing with those dice. You're nowhere near the. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's my roll right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's the roll. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, why, where is it? Where did he put up? It's because it wasn't on the screen. There you go. All damage right here. Nope. Yeah, almost all damage, pretty much because of that special over there. Uh, you got two money. Oh, you got. Oh, what was that? A money? Um, yes. Um, it's gonna go ahead and. You're gonna hit me. That's gonna be. I'll pass. You don't wanna pass. Oh, I'm passing. Because you already got three damage right there. Indeed. No, yeah, so I'm I'm very excited. Like, I'm very excited for um, Cassian. I'm very excited for Luke. So I'm, I just can't wait to start actually playing them. Because, you know, Luke or uh, Cassian is the new little Palpatine. So I'm all excited. Yeah, yeah. I was actually wanted to ask you about Plo Koon. Like, you know, everybody's talking about the crazy Plo Koon stacking. Um, is that something that they've already, like, got confirmed through Jeremy or something? Like, who, who's confirmed that, that it doesn't stack? Is it just the way it's worded? I honestly do not know, to be honest, at this time of this, uh, this video. But, you know, it's probably going to be put out and made completely clear. What? Even with this right here? I know, I know. That's scary. Because, I mean, you could roll out and do like three, two, uh, seven, eight, nine damage to me, maybe. So. Oh, is that it? That's fine, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. Do with me. All right, I'm going to get. If only four speed was a, a trilogy thing. Oh, do you think I have new four speeds coming out this this set? You mean you think you're gonna they're gonna reprint that thing? Oh, they will. I mean, honestly, that's like one of my favorite cards. So. <laughs> Especially after like the uh, store championship tournament kit that they just announced. With all those nice little pretty freaking four speeds in it. Yeah. I'm curious about that, actually. I mean, Jeremy says he doesn't really like action cheating that much, but, um, you know, there are counters to four speed, even if they don't get played that often, like rend and vandalize and stuff. So it's not like not something you can. Are, do you have predictions for yourself on what we're, what else we're going to see for Ways of the Force? Um, I think we're going to see a lot of unique weapons and, and unique vehicles, which I'm really excited about. 
I think that's one of the most fun parts of the game. And I really love how they're like kind of spotting characters uh, and spotting subtypes. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that tremendously as well. Like, I'm really, like, I really, I'm very, very hopeful that they actually bring in, like, a whole lot of the uh, clones. You know what I mean? Like, fives and stuff. That's yeah, bringing in Rex. Yeah, fives. Is... So, and... yeah, I got, got to bring in, and I'm excited about, um, I'm excited about Old Man Luke. You know, I'm definitely a glutton for blue heroes. Dun, dun, dun. I think there's Yoda special likes. It really does. Uh oh. Uh oh. What you got? All right. Let's see. What are we gonna do here? Um. I think we have to try to hit emotive special. Being special. A waste, but. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and. This car, car. notice that? I'm gonna echo on my end. I do have to say they are making us wait quite a long time for Way of the Force. It's a little. But I I don't know because we're so used to now after the last um release was that we got pretty much spoiled like all the card set. Yeah. Like right before it, but now we're like, there's no spoilers. It's true, we are. We're a little spoiled, so. Let's see, you're gonna do three, four. I'll kill. What you gonna do? I think I should just resolve the two damage. Okay. Was this a focus? That was it. I think so. I messed up the dice. Okay. Um, so two damage on Yoda. So what I'll do is... Yeah, I'm going to do the... Three, two, one. Yep, three, two, one. And I will leave this. Oh uh, well, no, never mind. I'll kill. I'll kill Zeb. Wait, it's nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's eleven. Don't do it then. So I miscalculated too. I was like, I thought it was twelve. JK, lol. Okay, so you're just gonna hold on to it, right? Um, we're gonna focus to the three. Okay. Okay. But I mean, you know, a part of me feels like it's been nice to like really explore the current meta longer. So it's excited, you know, as, as sad I am is taken so long, but yeah, like I don't know. I think the nice break from the spoilers is nice. Yeah, exactly. Like there's time now to explore all the different cards in the format. But I do agree. Like a lot of people feel like people don't come out to play locally as often because there's not a new set to buy. And it's harder on the stores. Oh yeah, it's all yeah, the way you need is special. That's what's so awesome about Yoda and Obi Saber. All you need is special. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Me neither. Me neither. Do it. Do two. Um, <clears throat> hey, one. Hey, one. What are you excited about for Way of the Four? I'm just crazy excited about. Um, um, I'm really Cassian, to be honest. There's just so many things that you can do, and I'm a huge fan of Mill. So. Really? Do you, I don't see you, do you play Mill a lot, or? 
Uh, the, the, the backup decks that I was playing was uh, Yoda Brightkin and stuff over in uh, Pods and all. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it was just like my just extra fun deck away from aggro. Look at this trash roll, man. What, what is this? What is this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I actually played Mill, like, a little bit with, uh, what was it? Like, it was Riken, Ray, Wookiee Warrior, and it was actually really fun, like, getting uh, um, just crazy amounts of shields and doing, uh, what's the, what's the shield card that Mill's uh, All Quiet on the Front? Mm, yeah, All Quiet yeah, on the Front. So, sorry, no, it was Riken Yoda. So, Riken, Ray. It was before Legacy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That I remember that right deck being such a big thing. So you're just focusing to the uh, special, right? That's all I'm doing. Yes. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Well, here comes the damage. Try to get a special to go here. There we go. There's that double There's special. That double special. Double special. And you'll do one and do one or one or one unblockable. unblockable. I'll do this. Do get, this. A shield. get a shield. Get a resource. Get a resource. Um, um, you need two you need over there. Two. Uh, yes, two. But you're gonna do two because you're gonna that special will give you a shield too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Tough choices. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll kill him. All right. Do you think Grievous is going to be any good? I think he's going to be a powerhouse, but I think he's going to be the mace of their set, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of true. It's like fun. He's just so like so big and beefy, and everyone's going to try to make it such a really fast little like one cost weapon deck. But I don't know. I really don't know. At least until I see more of the cards on how well it's going to turn out. I mean, I kind of feel like it's um, like one die Grievous wouldn't be too bad. So we'll resolve specials. Get two shields and die to a special. And do three. And then also gain a resource. So close. Wait. Was I supposed to gain it? Yeah, I was supposed to gain another shield. There we go. Claim. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty close. I mean, they're 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 very similar decks in some ways. So Zeb can do a little bit more damage, maybe. But you have healing in that deck, so. That's one way. There it is. Yeah. Do I have any answers? God. I guess we just hit a mode of the special. Say special. No. All right, let's see. Right, let's see. Oh, Jesus. It's even better. <laughs> let's go ahead and special, special. special. So that's going to kill me, right? Three. That's game. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? I should have claimed. Ah, oh, nice. You got the men. See, I was just saying, you got the healing, so. Yeah, I know. That's what was funny. Like, I smirked right when you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Such a great game, man. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was definitely <laughs> hard to uh, try to strategize while I was thinking about questions. So, um, what else didn't we hit up? Uh, we didn't hit up the predictions. So, uh, is there anything else that you're looking forward to playing, or anything that you're trying to try out before Way of the Force comes out? Um, I'm not really like competitively. Uh, you know, like I don't, I'm not definitely not one of those deck building masterminds like uh, there are out there. Um. I kind of just go with sort of what 
sort of obviously that works like things that are really good but i i am excited about this game and its whole thematic element like i'm you know i think that, that that's something that doesn't get discussed that much because we just kind of assume it's fun to play star wars but um there's so it's so fun i would say that the amount of like fun you get just by like reenacting some of the stuff that's thematic with this game is just some of the best times i've had like we're gonna play a team match this wednesday uh where i'm gonna be playing like tuscan raiders vader and a stormtrooper with my friend so we're gonna play in teams right mm -hmm. uh so we're gonna be a hero team and we'll have our two decks and then our friends are gonna be playing five jawas obi-wan old obi-wan and luke so it's yeah. kind of, and it's it's not like any other theme restrictions except for that. It's just going to be fun to play. Oh, that sounds incredible. You need to tell me how to play it. Yeah, we're going to try to video it. So we're going to post that up. Uh, so hopefully that'll that'll be up in the next one. So. Oh, all right. You guys heard that here first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, thank you so much, Symbio, for uh, coming onto the show. It truly means a lot. Um, just like I was saying before, you're an inspiration for me to even get this started. And it really is an honor to, to have you on. Pleasure is all mine, Monk. Uh, it's always really nice to meet people in the community, and I, I appreciate you uh, inviting me. Happy to be here and appreciate all of the support that you've given our channel, too. So. Um, yeah, anytime, my friend. Uh, on, the la on this last leg, uh, did you want to tell everyone how to find you or where to watch you? Yeah, sure. Uh, so you can find us on YouTube under T3 Gaming Podcast, or you can just Google or you know look for T3 Gaming Destiny, or uh, that'll just come up. And we're pretty much doing in real life games recorded either between me and my son or between. Um, us at the local store in Chico, California. Uh, and then anytime there's a new set, I'll do unboxing stuff. So we don't really do spoilers because we, we won't get them until later, but we might start to do some more collaboration like with Mike here and try to get do some more TTS if we can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything that you just said is going to be linked down below, guys, if you're having some problems finding them. But they are they're found everywhere, to be honest. So, but in either case, the link is right in the description. Again, thank you so much, Symbio. Thank you, man. Appreciate the game, too. No, thank you. It was an epic match. Look how close it was. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely one of those, like, whoever claims the battlefield, you know? I love it, my friend. All right, so you guys already know. Thank you so much for tuning in for the first iteration of the Padawan story. Uh, please let me know if you guys liked it. If you guys didn't like it, just let me know in the comments below. Tell me exactly how else I can improve, other than like the little side areas here that you already noticed that there's some resource issues. But um, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys around next time on the battlefield. Have a good one, everybody. Peace!